In some spots, it's going to be quite the celebration. Hopefully, everyone in Northwest Philadelphia can come. <laughs> um, you know, maybe a hundred folks, maybe more. I think we're ready. We have a lot of space here at Morris Arboretum and Gardens, so if you want to come, you can come. On the grounds of the Morris Arboretum and Gardens, it may be the highest spot in the region to see the eclipse. You can bring your friends, family, and maybe even a picnic lunch to stay before or after. We want them to know that this event will start at 2.30 p.m. The, the We'll see the most eclipse around 3.15. So if you want to come, get here around 2.30 to make a cereal box, to have a little picnic, and join us at 3.15. The staff there are gearing up. While they have a limited number of approved glasses, they'll be showing you how to make an eclipsed viewer. So you don't need to stare at the sun at all. You stand with your back towards the sun, you look through the viewer, and through this little uh, pinhole here, you should be able to see a shadow of the sun, as well as the um, shapes that it will make um, on the ground. Those in the 200 plus mile path will be able to see a total eclipse of the sun. In the Philadelphia region, we'll be at 90%, and that's not too shabby for an event that happens in this region rarely. A total solar eclipse happens, you know, for, for one specific location. It might happen every three or 400 years. And while many are making travel plans to see the total eclipse in person, the folks at the Morris Arboretum and Gardens, as well as Amy Baraclou, the Edelman Planetarium Director at Rowan University, say the view from home is going to be pretty incredible too. During that time, uh, it gets dark. So it's like twilight. You're able to see stars in the middle of the daytime. You're able to see the sun's uh, outer atmosphere called the corona. And uh, you're also able to sort of experience some of the other changes that, that may happen um, during totality. Because it is almost like nighttime right in the middle of the day, um, a lot of animals and insects start to make their you know nighttime or bedtime calls. Just remember if buying glasses, make sure they have the safety approved code on the side because not any glasses will do. Or don't use glasses at all, says Baraclou using an indirect method like a pinhole projector. Um, you can make these very simply by just taking a piece of uh, paper or cardstock and punching a small hole uh, into the cardstock. Other things that work as great pinholes and, and just kind of fun experiments to do, um, you can grab the colander or cheese grater out of your uh, kitchen utensils and take those outside, use those. And you can even do it with your fingers because the shadow reflecting on the wall or ground will show you what the shadows look like in the sky behind you. Deanna Durante, NBC10 News. And we have everything you need to know about the solar eclipse and how you can safely watch on Monday. You can check it out at NBC10.com solar eclipse.